Uh, Mr. Campbell, of course, you are the Police Association President of Canada's largest police union of over 8,000 members, correct? That's correct. Yes, thank you. And I want to uh, extend a sincere thank you uh, to you and your members for the work that you do and putting, frankly, your lives and well-being on the line every single day to keep our community safe. Thank you very much for the sacrifice of you and your members. Uh, we deeply appreciate your service to this country and to Toronto. Uh, recently, uh, your police union put out a number of concerning statistics, notably a 45% increase in shootings and a 62% increase in gun-related homicides just in the last year alone in Toronto. Is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mr. Campbell. Um, and recently, we've also learned that the Liberal government updated numbers is showing that Currently, uh, the government's plan to confiscate uh, lawfully owned uh, firearms from the legal gun owner community is costing upwards of $75 million thus far, and yet not a single firearm has been in purchased from a lawful owner. And in fact, no impact has been had, of course, on the uh, cr criminals and illegal gun trade that's going on. Can you comment on what the uh, Toronto Police Service would do with $75 million to combat gun violence? A $75 million would go a long ways. And, and I do want to comment that in Toronto, we're seeing that 85% of the firearms that are seized, and we seized 600 this past year, are from the U.S. Uh, we, we completely uh, feel that the current gun ban buyback program has zero impact on crime in the city of Toronto, uh, that it focuses on uh, legal gun owners and not on the criminals committing offenses. And another thing that's so important is our bail reform. We are seeing repeat violent offenders time and time again firing illegal handguns in the streets of Toronto. It's absolutely ridiculous and we've called uh, upon the federal government time and time again to implement stricter bail for repeat violent offenders and we're asking that again today. Thank you, Mr. Campbell. And of course, uh, your your remarks a few weeks ago criticizing the Liberal Prime Minister for taking a quite a strange, I would say, victory lap on social media about their so-called handgun freeze. You were you were quite direct in your criticism of that. And in fact, you said that it was offensive to police officers. And uh, frankly, we've seen a number of other police associations join you from Surrey, BC to Hamilton, Ontario. So there seems to be a very widespread uh, message that's coming loud and clear from police associations that uh, the current and tactics, of course, are not working to stop gun violence. And in fact, as you well know, gun violence in general across Canada over the last nine years of Liberal government is up 116%, in addition to a general increase of violent crime of 50% in nine years. And you're, of course, familiar that uh, you know, $75 million has been spent thus far, but Liberal government's own estimates put the confiscation regime from lawful firearms owners to be $1.8 billion. And in fact, the Fraser Institute has estimated it would be well over $6 billion to institute the confiscation regime. Can you outline for members of the Finance Committee what $6 billion or even just $2 billion would do for police services across Canada to combat violent crime in particular and uh, gun violence as well? That amount of money would be a game changer for policing services across Canada. Uh, in Toronto, our budget is just over a billion dollars with 8,000 members. That type of money could really impact our ability to provide adequate and effective policing, uh, track down these violent criminals and keep them in custody, it would be actually absolutely a game changer, changer for uh, policing across Canada. Thank you. And as you've outlined, the uh, majority, the vast majority of crime guns that you have seized are, are traced to the United States. Uh, and so can you just outline again uh, the impact that that is having on the safety of Toronto? It's literally a daily occurrence. We have hundreds of shootings every... It's, a day doesn't go by that we don't have, unfortunately, a firearm offence in, in Toronto. Uh, I go to community meetings all the time. Our citizens are scared. Uh, they're scared to go out in the street. We're seeing violent offences all the time. And the biggest problem, again, is it's repeat offenders. We continually arrest these people. They're back out on the streets in a matter of days at times. Uh, committing offenses again. Yes, thank you for outlining that. Of course, we know bail was made the default in essence by Bill C-75 a few years ago, a liberal bill, and it's having obviously very far-reaching consequences in this country. And just to conclude, uh, Mr. Campbell, of course, uh, as you outlined that the crime guns, the majority are coming from the United States, I'm sure you would support more robust uh, security measures at our border to stop those crime guns from coming into Toronto. Is that correct? Absolutely. When we're having 85% of these firearms seized, the illegal firearms seized coming from the United States, we completely support 
more resources at the border to prevent them from coming across and causing chaos in our city. Thank you.